Hey guys, so I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a haul. I'm actually back with a two part haul. This first haul will be beauty and like miscellaneous stuff, and then the second one will be all fashion. So let's get started. So, the first store that I went to, first of all, I went downtown Chicago yesterday. I love the atmosphere of downtown. Like, I really feel like at home. Like, that is like my dream place to live on Michigan Avenue and just look down at all the shops and just live there. So, we walked and walked. My achy, achy feet are still hurting today. But um, I went to Sephora while I was there. And excuse the mess in this bag because I already kind of opened everything. So I'm going to show it to you. Oh. Alright, so um. Alright, so the first thing that I got was the Charlotte Ronson Perfect Nude Look. And it came with some amazing items in here. So the first thing that was in here is this little eyeshadow palette and it's called All I Need. It's cute. Oh, that's not the name of it. I don't know. Henrietta. Henrietta? Just the name of it. I'm sorry. But um, the packaging is so cute. Can you see that? Can you see it? And I kind of cracked the first one with one of the colors already, but I'm going to fix that with some um, alcohol later. But um, these are like the perfect like nude light shades. They all have um, shimmer tone, but that's fine. I love them dearly. I can't wait to really use them. All right. So the next thing that was in there, because it had this box was just filled with stuff, and I have the rest of the stuff in here. But it came with two eyeliners, one in brown and one with in black. I think they both have names. This one, the black one, is called Michelle. And so let me do this. Watch right there, and then they also have like a smudge brush on the other end. So yeah, and then the brown one name is Katie, and it looks like this very smooth and creamy. I totally, totally love it. Wait, am I recording? Let's find out. Okay, so I was recording. All right, so what else? The other stuff that was in this box was a lip gloss. By Charlotte Ratson and it looks like this and it's in the color I don't see a color I guess it doesn't have a color right this is lip gloss but it's really pretty it's a shimmery um deep pink really really pretty applicator brush is a little weird but um I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. I might give the lip gloss to my cousin but it looks like that just a little sheer, a little pigmentation to it. All right, so the one thing that I really did love out of this thing, it's a um, two-time chart. It has a bronzer and a blush on here. So this is the bronzer. You can just screw it up like that. <laughs> Let me do a swatch for you. You probably can barely see that on my skin. But um, yeah, it's really nice though. And the blush. Ooh. And the blush is right there in the corner. I totally love this box. That box was, because like, all of her stuff was on sale, honestly. So this box was $49. Yeah. And it's valued at $86. So that's not bad at all. So the next thing that I guess that everybody's been raving about is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I just had to get it. I have to try it. Because I just got, um, I just actually repurchased Bad Gal. But I really wanted this. So I bought this. Oh, the next thing that I bought was a lip gloss from Bare Minerals, and this is the one of their marvelous moxie ones, and this is in the color Daredevil. And I actually had a mini one of that. I think I got it in one of my Ipsy bags a couple of months back, but um, I totally fell in love with it, and I finally just used it all up. So I decided to repurchase, and it smells so good. It's really minty in a way, like tingling on my lips a little bit, but it looks like this. And I totally love this stuff. I need to put this in my purse, actually. Ooh. So the next thing, well, the last thing I bought from Sephora yesterday, it was this um, nail polish, and it's in the color Mommy Star in the Making. And it looks like they just one of their glare polishes. All their polishes at Sephora right now are 450. So if you want to check out the Sephora by OPI line, all their polishes are 450. I don't know how long that lasts, but you need to hit them up. All right, so then I went to Sephora again today. But I didn't pick up that much. I only picked up two items. 
it's just the fact. Well, one thing is I need for my hair. I got the Carol's Daughter Repairing um, Collection. The Monet, I think is what you call it. But I heard really good things about it. And I had the sample size and worked pretty good in my hair. So I thought I would get the little starter kit and see how that would work. And just to double check and see how I like it. <coughs> that was 24 And then I got some eye makeup remover uh, that I ran out of. So basically that was replenishing. So downtown Chicago again. I went to MAC. And I really want what I want. I wanted Reweevil, but I didn't realize that was an online thing, so I might still go purchase that. I don't know. But I ended up buying Ruby Woo. Well, it's basically the same thing, but knowing me, I'll probably end up still buying um, Ruby Woo. But um, I got um, right here my Ruby Room. I think you can still see it on my lips. I had it on all day. And if it's really good, that means it lasts really long. I can't see myself in the mirror up there. But um, let me swatch that for you. It's, I, you know I love me some Mad Red. Like I have a Mad Red from um, Elf that I live for. And I totally love this one. And it's so gorgeous. And the girl talked me into buying a liner. And this color is cherry. <coughs> and it looks like this. I mean, it was so gorgeous and so that was my money there all right so more miscellaneous things today i went to the store called hot rags and i picked up these marilyn monroe glassware because you know i am working hard to get to my own apartment god please one day <coughs> right now i'm living with my aunt so i bought these i thought this would be cool to have because they were 50 percent off or whatever and i've been eyeing these for a while they had them at the store so I saw they had 50% off and I didn't think they could get any cheaper. So I bought them so they turned out to be $12, $12.99. So you can't beat that. Um, I also bought a lighter. My cousin has a Marilyn Monroe lighter and I really wanted it from him but he wouldn't give it to me. So I went and got my own because it was like five bucks. Another miscellaneous thing that I bought today, I went to Disney for today in Orland Mall, even though I went to Disney Store downtown yesterday, I did the same thing I want, but today I saw a couple of things that I wanted, and you know I love me some tea, so I got me a mug, and this is a mug from the Great and Powerful Oz, and it has my boo on it, James Franco, so I had to get it, <coughs> so yeah, bought that, and another thing that I bought while I was there, I bought another mug, of course, but I had all of the, um, I guess you'll call them princesses and wrong princesses. What do you call them? I don't know. But um yeah, these are all the girls. <laughs> Glenda the Good Witch and Fedora and that girl. Yeah. But I thought this was cute to have and yeah, so another um thing. If you're gonna see when I eventually get into my own place, I'm gonna have a mug collection. Like in my aunt's house I have all my mugs packed up and it's just crazy. But um, that is the end of my miscellaneous and beauty haul. Sorry I just rambled on. But stay tuned for part two that will be coming up hopefully. I'm going to film it now but I'm probably going to upload it a day after. But I'll talk to you guys later.